Well, good morning once again, Mount Gilead. It's great to be with you again on another Friday. Here we are again. We've made it through another week. We're staring uh, at another weekend. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful weather weekend. Hope you have a great time with uh, family and friends, whatever, whatever you're into. I was thinking this week, it has been 20 years, uh, 12, 20 years ago this summer that I was an intern uh, under Jeff Fall at Mount Gilead Church and so many great memories of that summer and fall. I did a about six or seven months, and you had just the, the, the church had just moved away from the Kitchen Road location to uh, the current facility, not with the new auditorium, of course. Uh, we were we were worshiping in the gym, but it was such a great uh, atmosphere and a, a season of growth and, and excitement. Learned from so many of you, um, staff and volunteers. What a great opportunity that was! And one of the things Jeff had me do while I was there was to develop an actual preaching series, a four-week series. There used to be a, a Sunday night service, and uh, he gave me four consecutive weeks to do a Sunday morning service, or a, a, a preaching series, rather. And um, that series was on the book of Jonah. There's four chapters in Jonah, so we did one chapter every week for four weeks in a row. And if you've read Jonah and know a little bit about Jonah, you know it's a great story. It has so many twists and turns. So I want to talk just a little bit about Jonah this morning. You know, there's a lot of humor in that story. Um, you, you probably remember after Jonah preached to the Ninevites and told them to repent and to turn to God, they did. And God relented, and he didn't strike them. And interestingly enough, for a prophet, this made Jonah irate because he still hated the Ninevites. He, had, he still had that hate in his heart. And so he complained to the Lord, and he said, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Can we say drama? And God answered back to Jonah. He said, is it right for you to be angry? And Jonah ignored that question. He, instead, he went up on a hill and he started pouting. And he was looking down on the city to see if God would strike Nineveh anyway. It was really hot up on that hill. And even though Jonah had this terrible attitude, God sent this incredible blessing. Like God so often does in our lives. Even in the midst of our bad attitudes sometimes. God sent this blessing in the form of a plant to shade Jonah from the elements. Jonah expressed gratitude. But here's the funny part. Just before dawn, you remember this, God sent a worm to eat up the plant. Jonah certainly wasn't laughing, but it was a creative way for God to get Jonah's attention. And he was angry. It was an object lesson for Jonah. When the plant withered, the Bible tells us that a scorching east wind came and he became faint and, and begged God to take his miserable life. God said, is it right to be angry about the plant, Jonah? And Jonah says, it is right. It's right enough, even enough to die. But here's, what, here's how God replied. I'm just going to read. These are the last couple of uh, verses out of the whole book of Jonah. God says this. You have had pity on the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh, Jonah, that great city in which are more than 120,000 persons who cannot discern between their right hand and their left? and much livestock. And that's how the book ends. In fact, I, just a little bit of trivia, I think, and those of you that know the Bible a lot better than I do, you can fact check me on this, I think it's the only book in the Bible that ends with a question. And the question is God asking Jonah, should I not pity this city with all these people and all these animals? Now, unfortunately, we don't get to hear Jonah's response. All we know is that God was trying to, jo to show Jonah that he should care about people because God cares about people. 
You know, I think sometimes we have a tendency in our human nature, in our fallenness, we have this tendency to judge people in the world who do bad things. Even this week, um, there have been some terrible incidences all across the country that have, uh, again, polarized us, and we tend to start choosing sides and pointing fingers. Sometimes I think we forget how precious every single person is to the Lord. Sometimes we forget how every single person walking the face of the earth is a child of God created in God's image. And sometimes we forget that once upon a time we were given grace. We were given grace when we repented and turned to him. And really our focus and our mission in life is to have that same heart for other people that God had for us and to share that good news with love. I hope that brings you some encouragement today. I hope you know and feel the love of God today and are ready to extend it to the world around us. Hope you have a great weekend, Mount Gilead, and it'll be great to worship together Sunday morning, 10 a.m., mgchurch.live. I'll see you there.